Hello everyone. My name is Mr. Crea. I'm the teacher in Sea Homes Engineering, Manufacturing and Robotics area. And I'd like to take this opportunity to give you a quick look at opportunities that are available out here for you. It's hard in this pandemic environment for you to to really get grasp what's available because this is a total hands-on project based area and you know, when you get here and you actually see what machinery we have and what's available it's a whole lot different than me trying to tell you about it over a powerpoint but we need to do something in this environment to, to to let you know registration is coming up and we need to let you know what your options are for electives out in this area uh first thing is that we rebuilt sea home a couple years ago and we totally upgraded everything that we have to offer here so we went from from a pretty bare system to allowing you to see tons of different things that are happening in engineering, manufacturing, and robotics. So you have a huge brand new facility and a brand new program to take advantage of. Now, just looking at the facility itself, we have a brand new design lab. And in this lab, we have computers, we have 3D printers, we have everything that you need to figure out how to take an idea that's in your head, put it in a computer, design it and then go out and actually build and test. The whole process is very, uh, very visible and very easy to do in this environment. But brand new design lab, inside that design lab, we have a bunch of 3D printers, these industrial maker gears. And this is where you see what 3D printing is all about. We can take ideas that you create in the software on the computer and print them out over here big part of the industry and it's also a big part of the visual aspects that we have now you can design it on a computer hold it in your hand we do legos we do all kinds of stuff to see how things fit together but it's fun and it's a good opportunity to see what 3d printing is all about now computer aided design is a big part of engineering manufacturing and robotics this is how everything is being designed in industry now and in college if you're going on to engineering plan on studying engineering at the college level there's going to be computer aided design Okay, it's a great chance in high school to get a, a look at what that's about and to learn how it works because it's you going into college with that knowledge already, then you're a step up. Okay, we use a program called Fusion 360 and it's a large program worldwide and it is also a good opportunity for you to get real comfortable with the program because you can put it on your own computer. It's a cloud-based program that it can run on any computer. So we have it on the computers in the shop. You have it on your school device. You can have it on your own home computers. Big advantage. We used to only, you used to only be able to do this stuff in our design lab. Now you can do it anywhere. And that's pretty much the way industry is working. So this is a real good look at how industry works. And Fusion 360 is a fun program to learn. It's very uh, intuitive. And that's the process, the, the CAD that we'll be using, Fusion 360. Okay, now the only purpose here is you really can't see what we have here, but uh, understand we have a big shop. We, they gave us a lot of room, a lot of area to work with, and we filled it with tons of machines. So this is just to give you an idea how big the area is. Uh, some of the machines that we have that uh, you'll have access to okay this is a small cnc milling machine cuts woods and plastics but what you design in fusion 360 comes through the computer and it tells the machine what to do this is a tic-tac-toe board made out of wood that you know a simple project that you can come and be in, you can become involved in but the uh, cnc milling machine small one we have we also have a larger one this is a techno uh, CNC wood router, it's a two foot by three foot bed, so we can do lots of larger projects on a, on a machine like this, get into cabinet making. Again, this is woods and plastics mostly, so you start off without knowing any of this information and you dive in building stuff in woods and plastics because it's a forgiving medium and you can build a lot of cool stuff. Just some uh, look at some of the projects that uh, beginning classes make here. There's uh, wooden boxes that are, are really nice because of the ability of the machines to work. We have laser cutting, 3D printing. Uh, this is plasma cutting here. We can cut steel into any shape that uh, you can put up into your uh, into the computer. And we also have a water jet here. So beginning stuff here. Just a quick look at some of the projects that are, are possible. 
Uh, wooden games, we do this a lot just because it's a good, uh, it's a fun way to show you how the machines work. You can learn how things work and make projects that are great for gifts and for you. That's the tic-tac-toe box top and the lid and the bottom there where you put the pieces in with 3D printed parts. Um, cribbage boards, Chinese checkers, all this stuff is possible. This is, you know, again, a quick look at the beginning type projects that you can get involved with. Okay. Larger techno can do uh, cabinets. We do uh, woodworking projects with the Toya bandsaw drill press, hand tools and stuff like that. So all this is also possible in the classes that we have out here. Now this is one of the big things that uh, we upgraded to. This is a water jet and it again can cut material up to one inch thick. Steel, uh, aluminum, uh, titanium, ceramic, carbon fiber. That's an amazing process that allow you to make projects that are that are uh, pretty out of this world. This is not something you're going to see in a high school. This is an industrial water jet, 30,000 PSI, pressure coming down, which allows it to cut at, at high levels. Something that you'll be able to have a lot of fun with, make a lot of cool projects with. And it's also still a part of Fusion 360 CAD. That's where you design things. This machine will cut them out for you. Not normal in a high school. So this is a step up. Okay, and this is another big step up here. See, CNC milling machines are not something you see in high schools of this size. These are the same machines you'll see in engineering programs. Uh, University of Washington, uh, MIT, Cal Poly, Stanford, they all use these types of machines in their college programs to show you how things work. They also have, this is the same machine you'll see in the technical colleges. So if you go over to Bellingham Technical College, this is what they're training kids to use for industry experience. Also, it's um, an opportunity for you to see how to cut um, aluminum, steel, things like that are, are we can cut on these machines here. So this is added up to the level of the upgrade that we hit over these last couple of years here. Now, I mean, getting your hands on these types of machines in high school, not normal, but we, we uh, structure it out so you when you get to these machines, you understand what it is you're doing and you can have a lot of fun, build some really cool stuff and really see what's happening in manufacturing and engineering, okay? And again, it's hard for you to understand what, just looking at a machine, it's, okay, they, they are automated machines. So what you're drawing in Fusion 360 is made with tooling that the machine is putting in itself and you're operating with a controller as it makes parts inside here. So. Again, that's a, it's something that when you get a chance to come in, you'll get it better, but just to see it, it's a great opportunity. Something that's really cool. Okay, also have total welding area, so we can show you all the welding processes. We can get you ready for a career in welding, get you ready for a certification program, BTC, or we can make some just some really cool projects here. This is fire pits, barbecues, all that kind of stuff that uh, you can make with the welding process. A very cool process and something that you can get involved in with what we have here. Okay, now just a quick look at the uh, pathway. The beginning class engineering technology is considered the beginning class. That's where we cover the design and build process with uh, computers and simple machinery there. After that, get into manufacturing technology. Manufacturing technology is the total shop classes. This is where we cover band saws, drill presses, and some of the hand-made hand, hand uh, projects as well as advancing to the CNC stuff. And both of these classes have advanced classes where you get to the high level projects and really have some fun doing some really intricate stuff. A standalone here is robotics engineering. And this is a great class if you're interested in robotics and seeing what robotics has to offer. Um, you design and build and compete with robots. Okay, this is VEX Robotics is a worldwide competition. We have a league in Bellingham that you compete in. Also, they have competitions down, down south that you go to. It has a state championships. It has a world championships, huge organization. And robotics engineering allows you to come in and design a robot, learn how to program it, learn how to run it, and then actually go and compete and test with it. Okay, you don't have to know anything coming in. We teach you the entire process. We teach you how the programming works, how the machines run, and it's a lot of fun. It's a big challenge because they are full, full on robots that uh, do amazing stuff. So it's uh, a great class to become involved in 
if you're interested in robotics. Okay. Now, just a, a quick look at some of the intricacies here on what the different classes are. Engineering tech, beginning class. It's going to go over Fusion 360, but it's the machines that are normally covered in, in uh, engineering tech. is 3D printing, laser cutting, computer controlled, wooden plastics. That's the Nomad and the Techno there, and then the water jet. So you get up to the water jet in engineering tech. So there's a lot of great opportunity to build some really cool projects and learn how, how to do things there. From there, manufacturing technology. You come into manufacturing technology with an understanding of the fundamentals of Fusion 360 so you can hit the ground running to higher level machinery. Okay, this is where we get into industrial shops, band saws, drill presses, hand tools. We build some hands-on projects so you get comfortable in the industrial shop, cover safety and, and general operations out here. And then we go to higher levels. This is where we add the metalworking CNC machines and welding. So that's a part of manufacturing technology, consider the industrial shop class. Advanced classes move on from there, higher level projects, higher level challenges in both areas. Okay, then we have robotics engineering. Again, I, I just talked a little bit about that, but this is a great class for doing competition robotics. If you're interested in that area, definitely dive in here. Kids are taking the robotics engineering. You can take it every year if you want to, and every year the competition gets, gets higher and higher level. So it's a great class to stay involved with the latest and greatest in robotics. Okay, now again, not as great as it would be if you're actually here. We can show you this stuff and see how, uh, see how awesome it is. But I want you to get an idea for registration on what's available, what the elective classes are, and give you an opportunity to become part of the program. Hope to see you here. Have fun.